The House of Pride opened its gates and welcomed us as honorary champions. They say it's simple hospitality, but I suspect we have you to thank. Now is the difficult part. We can hold Chloricon, even push a little into Alabastra, but we don't have the forces to mount a siege on Gadflow. Once the House of Pride gives their word, They'll never break it. At least, not what it looks like we're winning. Our real problem is that we can't march the army through Alabastra. Not in formation, at least. This will call for smaller groups. Alabastra is a maze of valleys. Gadflow's remaining faithful would spot an army moving together, and the valleys would be the death of us. But where an army would fail, the five of us can triumph. If we split up, we can travel faster and catch them unaware. We will at the House of Vengeance, on Gadflow's doorstep. From there, we strike at Bale, the heart of his empire. More than you'd think. But I promise I'll explain it all to you. Maybe once Gadflow's dead. I'll see you in Alabastra. Hope you've got better luck this time, eh? We're not going to stop Gadflow by just standing here and chatting. Lead the way. I'll meet you at the House of Vengeance. I'll see you at the House of Vengeance. Agarth wanted me to keep an eye on Lady Shear, but you and I need to have a talk first. I've been reviewing my notes of our last trip to Alabastra, and I've come to some startling conclusions about your death and Tiernock. I don't know exactly, but it must have been a tremendously powerful source of magic. So powerful that the Well of Souls couldn't help but pick up on it. You were attuned to the well in my lab, but Hugh's well captured your essence. The power in Bale seems to have been the missing element. What's more, I think that power is the source of the Prismere Crystals. Something intelligent and malignant. The creature the Tuatha called Tiernok. 
something incredibly powerful. I don't know if we even have a name for what she is, because no one's lived to name it. She's not a god. She's something much, much worse. And judging by the growth of this Prismere, she's very close to coming into our world for good. Whatever Gadflow's been doing, it's all in order to bring her here. So you've got to stop him before it's too late. With tremendous difficulty. Even so, there weren't as many Tuatha here, and we used magic to keep us hidden. Magic which you provided, in fact. You never did explain where you got those fascinating little artifacts. With horrors, screams, and ghostly face, we leave blood in a graven place. The forest black and nighttime sky, the blood that pours forth from your eye. A feast for maggots, craven all, that eat the dying when they fall. Instead of vibrant fighting flesh that fights the barghest and the thresh, that knows the plight of Seely Fay, you who walked the Nirilim's way, and reckon fates of mortal dust, and keep an oath or break a trust. We hunger for your corpse once more, to hear your cries and anguished roar. You must hurry. There is much to do. Gask and his forces are preparing to march. They know about the caves and will not cease until every last one of us has been slain. And they are the survivors of Eventide to consider. 
I have not heard a whisper from across the pass. And Esha, she plots a fool's errand. We must stop her. Much to do. Forgive me. Ever since the Tuatha came, omens of our destruction besiege me. My every notion is of escape and salvation. When he refused to worship Gadflo's god of smoke and ash, he thought first to kill us, but then chose a far grimmer fate. He made us his example. He sent Gask. First, Gask's priests destroyed the clans. Then he burned the bodies of the fallen and breathed in their essence, mocking the dead and the great cycle itself. One day, that is all Gask needed to unravel many seasons of the telling, to make the earth shudder and the sky weep. Now he sits above us, watching. Wonderful! Your attack will give us time to organize an escape. Do not underestimate Gask. He is among Gadflow's best for a reason. His camp of Kansamir is to the north, but you must defeat his witch knights along with the Fae himself. I have faith in you. He lords over Twilight Pass from the plateau above, rarely seen, his minions executing his bloody work. Both he and they prefer it thus. Victory will be yours.
The hero don't have much for supply. But you're welcome to them.